this Tuesday morning. Uh, Pastor Larry Allison here, uh, Gospel Life Free Will Baptist Church in Bon Terre. And uh, always glad to have you join us for our Daily with God devotion in the mornings. Um, we took about a week and a half off with uh, throat problems. We we got back on track yesterday, uh, as you can tell, still struggling with the throat. Uh, so we probably won't be long. Uh, but I do want to encourage you in the scripture today. Pray that it'll be a blessing to you and draw you closer to the Lord. Hey, you that are following the Bible through reading the Bible through with us this year, uh, our scriptures for today is the book of Psalms 43 through 45, Psalms 43 through 45, and the book of Acts chapter 27, verses 27 through 44, okay? Now, the scripture we're going to look at this morning for our daily devotion is found in Psalms chapter 42, Psalms chapter 42. <clears throat> Here's what it says. By the way, the title of our devotion is Thirsty for God. We all know what it is to get thirsty. Uh, if you've ever done any uh, hard work outside in the, in the heat of the day, uh, you know, uh, work in the field or work on a farm or just any kind of construction work, any kind of out, uh, highway department. I mean, all these jobs, the, the heat can take a toll on you. Uh, and, and I tell you what, it doesn't take long to get to the point, man, you need some water. Uh, you need to stay, uh, hydrated. And, uh, you, you can get so hot that, I mean, you just can't hardly wait to get a drink. Thirsty. Can't wait. Want more. Uh, but you know what? Here we find in Psalms chapter 42, in the first two verses, you know what? We ought to be thirsty for God. You know, as I, as I look at all of the scriptures and, Many, many of the devotions we've, we have by now shared several hundred devotions with you these last, uh, really the last year and a half, two, going on two years. Uh, and, and you know what? As, as we share these devotions, um, I really think these scriptures, various scriptures, various chapters, verses, uh, they really compel us to want more of God. I mean, Regardless where you're at in your relationship with God, don't you want more? Uh, don't you want to advance? Don't you want to go forward? Uh, don't you want to get closer to the Lord? Uh, that ought to be our desire. And that's really one of the reasons, I think, that our morning devotions, uh, our morning Bible time, our morning prayer time, that is one, one thing that it really does for us every day. If we're faithful to get into some scripture and faithful to pray, I believe God speaks to our heart. And you know what? He compels us to do what? Want more of him. You know, you can't get too much of God. You can't get too close to God. But we ought to want more. And in this, these two verses, let me just share it with you. Uh, the psalmist says, as the heart panteth, the heart. I, I look to that as something very similar to a deer. As, as the deer panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee. As, as that deer gets so thirsty to try to find a good water brook and get a good fresh drink in the heat of the day, well, I tell you what, so panteth my soul for God. Uh, you know, spiritually, uh, we're, we're in the heat of the day also. <laughs> Man, we're living in the last days. We are in perilous times. Uh, the devil is devouring who, who he can and deceiving as many as he can. And we're not so much in the heat of the day uh, outside. We're in the heat of the battle uh, spiritually inside. And I tell you, we need more of God. My soul ought to be thirsty. I need more of God. And then he said in verse 2, my soul thirsteth for God. Just as that deer is trying to find a good cool brook for uh, a good fresh drink of water, he said, my soul is thirsty for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? So if there's one thing we could encourage you to do this morning, man, I tell you what, I, I hope that you're thirsty for God today. I hope you're hungry for the things of God. 
I mean, we're thirsty, we're hungry. What, all, what does all that really mean? We want more of God. My soul, uh, the only way my soul can be quenched is to have more of God in my life. More of a desire to get closer to him and to love him more and to serve him well. Uh, just a desire, a growing desire to want more of God. Oh, I mean thirsty. My soul is thirsty for God. Uh, do you get that? Uh, listen, it, this, this scripture is just kind of open our eye, eye opener and, and let us know just as the, the deer longs for that fresh drink from a brook, we ought to be longing this morning for a good fresh drink of the things of God, the presence of God, the blessings of God, the assurance of God, the, the promises of God. I don't know about you. Man, I want more of God. Amen? We want, we need more of God in our lives. Some people, I think, spend a lot of time trying to just get by with as little as they can. <laughs> you know, uh, just as little as they can. I, I have known people through the years, seem like they always got the gas tank in their car on empty. And uh, uh, some folks actually just run out of gas every now and then. And, and you know what? I mean, here's, here's a, this don't cost you a thing. Let me give you some wisdom here. It don't cost you any more to keep your tank full than it does to keep it empty. And it's a whole lot more safe, right? Some folks, though, think they just need enough gas just to get by, just to get to the next station, just to get a little refuel. And, and, and you know what? Sometimes they'll run out of gas with that kind of thinking. Well, spiritually, I don't want to, I don't want to just have enough, enough of God to try to get by. Man, I want, I want to keep the tank full, right? Uh, I, I want to be full of God, not, not just running on empty all the time and trying to get a little bit to get by. No, I want all of God I can get. So let's get thirsty for God today. Let's seek Him. Let's love Him. Pray more. Get into the Word of God. Let's seek the Lord today. God bless you. Hey, here's your scripture for tomorrow, Psalms 46 through 48, and the book of Acts, chapter 28. Have prayer with me. Heavenly Father, we do come to you this morning in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you for scriptures like this that clearly illustrate, Lord, our need to have more of you. Lord, our soul, we're thirsty for you today. We want more of you. We want to run on full. We don't want to run on empty and just barely try to get by. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit today and with the things of God. Bless those that are watching. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a good morning and praying everyone have a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Lord willing, hope you'll join us in the morning.